Hello and welcome to Access UTV. My name's Michelle Edhouse and today I'd like to ask you, what are you aware of? What do you actually know that you've been pretending that you don't know? Now, one of the cool things um, that I've learned how to be and do um, since I've been doing the Access Consciousness classes and using the tools is being aware of energy. And everything on this planet is energy. Every thought, every feeling, every emotion, everything is energy. And if you're willing to tap in and be aware of energy, you can literally pull thoughts out of people's heads. You can literally start talking and saying exactly what they're thinking and they're like, that's exactly what I was thinking. Now, have you ever had that happen? Or maybe you had it happen where the phone rings and you think, oh, that's Sarah. And you pick up the phone and yes, it's Sarah. It's an awareness of energy. It's a talent and capacity that we all have if we're willing to use it. Yet it's one that is not taught in schools. It's not taught um, in society in general as it stands at this point. And what would it take for that to change? Like how many of us actually already knew the answers at school and then we had to work out how that we could learn to work it out in a way that we could show the teacher that we had worked it out and we just hadn't copied someone else. Like, how many of you were accused of cheating because you knew the answer, but you didn't know how to work it out? It's so rampant out there where we shut down the children's awareness, we shut down their willingness to know, because we need them to prove it to us. And the need to prove has been handed down from generation to generation, like, and you can go back forever in a day. So if you had no point of view of what you were allowed to know and what you weren't allowed to know, what would you actually know? If there was no cap on, you can't know that. Like, um, on Monday morning, like, my youngest son has had a paper run. And we have been doing it together and it was really cool because I got to enforce exercise. <laughs> Um, and it got to a point that neither of us were enjoying it anymore and it was time to hand in his notice. So he handed in his notice and the guy said, well, it's either two weeks or until we replace you. So if we replace you before the two weeks, then you don't need to work out your two weeks. Now, he never notified us. He never contacted us and said, um, I found somebody to replace you. And we'd done one week of the notice and then Monday morning, Damien comes in and he says to me, oh, that's it. No more flies and papers to do. And I was like, how do you know that? Um, well, no, th no, it's normally Monday that they deliver the flyers. It's okay, we, we, you know, we may still get some flyers, don't do it. And then no flyers arrived and then no flyers arrived on Tuesday either. No papers arrived Wednesday night. And I'm like, huh, he did actually know. And I noticed how quickly I jumped to, well, you can't know that. It's not the right time of day to know that. We don't know that until the guy doesn't deliver them. When actually he knew it. He woke up in the morning and went, huh, paper run's finished. We don't have to do it anymore. And he came through and he told me and I poo-pooed it. So how often do we poo-poo other people's knowing? Because we can't find a logical reason, a logical explanation, or they haven't they can't show their workings like the school teachers always expect us to be able to do. <clears throat> so what is it that you actually know? That you've pretend, been pretending not to know so that you don't have to prove to anyone how you know it. And everything that that is, would you now destroy and uncreate everything that keeps you from knowing it, choosing it and owning that you know it? Right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine, boys, shorts and beyonds. For those of you that are new to my channel, that's the weird and wacky access consciousness clearing statement. And it's like your magic wand, it clears away all that stuff, that all the energy that is locked and keeping those things in place. So, 
what is it that you do know? Would you be willing to maybe even keep a diary of things that you knew? And then when they show up and it's actually proves that it's true, that you actually did know, that you were aware, um, take it off. Yeah, see, look, I was aware. How did I get so awesome? And the more we acknowledge what we know, the more we can have it show up. And the more you ask for it to show up, the more it can show up. So what else is possible if you're willing to know what you know instead of having to think? There's a big difference between knowing and thinking. Knowing is instant. Thinking requires a linearity, a past experience or a past input of knowledge, whereas knowing is just knowing. And who knows where you pulled it out of? You may have pulled it out of your teacher's head. <clears throat> That's how I send my kids off to do their tests. Just ask for the awareness of what your teacher knows and what you know what's required for the answers. And um, my eldest came home one day and, and I said, how'd your test go? And he's like, great. <coughs> and I, he said, oh, I got 100%. And I was like, oh, cool. So what was it? You know, was it stuff that you already had learned or was it stuff? He's like, no, I just asked the answer paper what answer was required. <coughs> now, that's taking it a step further. You know, sometimes what the teacher thinks is the answer may not actually be the answer in the book. So are you willing to know where you need to pull the information from? that will allow you to have the information that's required in any 10 seconds. So thanks for joining me here at Access UTV and what else is possible if you're willing to know what you know? Cheers. <laughs>